Tesla just broke physics and the entire car industry. While everyone was arguing about whether solid-state batteries would ever be real, Elon Musk quietly built them for 3,777 and they're hitting production lines right now. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how Tesla achieved what Toyota said was impossible, why this battery is three times more powerful than anything on the road today, and how a $16,000 car is about to make every other EV look obsolete. Welcome back to Tesla Torch, where we uncover the innovations reshaping our world. If you want to stay ahead of the EV revolution, hit that like button and subscribe because what you're about to learn will change everything you thought you knew about electric cars. For years, the electric vehicle industry has been trapped in a brutal trade-off. You want affordable? You get heavy, slow-charging LFP batteries that cost around $6,000 per pack, but deliver a pathetic 160 watt-hours per kilogram. That means more weight, less range, and charging times that make road trips a nightmare. You want performance? You shell out $9,000 or more for NMC batteries that give you better energy density at 250 to 270 watt hours per kilogram, but they degrade faster, run hotter, and can literally catch fire if something goes wrong. Neither option could deliver on Tesla's promise of a sub $16,000 Model 2 that drives over 400 kilometers and charges quickly. The math just didn't work. The physics seemed impossible. Tesla needed something fundamentally different. And they found it. But here's what nobody saw coming. While Toyota was showing off solid-state prototypes that cost $800 to $1,200 per kilowatt hour, basically making them useless for real cars, Tesla was quietly partnering with Quantum Cape and Samsung SDI to crack the code that everyone said couldn't be cracked. The result? a production-ready solid-state battery, pack that costs just 3,777 and is literally rolling off pilot production lines at Giga Texas right now. This isn't a lab experiment. This isn't a concept. This is the actual battery going into the 2026 Model 2. And it's about to change everything. So what makes this battery so revolutionary? It all comes down to one breakthrough. The solid ceramic electrolyte. Traditional batteries use liquid electrolytes that are basically flammable chemistry waiting for an excuse to catch fire. Tesla's new pack uses a solid ceramic material instead. Think about what this means. No more liquid that can leak. No more dendrite buildup that kills batteries over time. And here's the kicker. You can literally puncture this battery, expose it to temperatures above 150 degrees Celsius, and it won't go into thermal runaway. It won't catch fire. It won't explode. This is one of the safest battery chemistries ever engineered for mass production. But safety is just the beginning. The real game changer is the energy density. Tesla's solid state cells deliver between 450 and 500 watt hours per kilogram. That's up to 3.1 times more energy per kilogram than LFP batteries, and nearly double what you get from the best NMC packs on the market today. Here's what that means in the real world. A 25 kilowatt hour solid state pack in the Model 2 can match or exceed the range of a 50 kilowatt hour LFP pack in today's Model 3 standard range. Tesla is literally getting twice the performance from half the battery. This enables something that seemed impossible just two years ago, a sub $16,000 electric vehicle that delivers 400 to 480 kilometers per charge without compromising cabin space or making the car too heavy to handle properly. Now let's talk about the economics, because this is where Tesla didn't just break through. They obliterated every expectation. These pilot lines at Giga Texas are producing solid state cells at approximately $150 per kilowatt hour. Multiply that by the 25 kilowatt hour capacity planned for the Model 2, and you get exactly 3,777s per battery pack. Remember, Toyota's solid state prototype from 2023 was estimated at $800 to $1,200 per kilowatt hour. Tesla is producing real batteries at one-sixth to one-eighth of that cost while delivering better performance across every metric that matters. This isn't just crossing the cost threshold. 
This is demolishing it. For the first time in automotive history, a solid-state EV battery is not only cheaper than current generation LFP or NMC packs, but it's also better by nearly every measurable standard. Better range, better safety, better longevity, better charging speed, and it costs less. Speaking of longevity, these new cells are designed for 5,000 to 6,000 full charge cycles with minimal capacity fade. Do the math on that. It equals 1.5 to 1.8 million kilometers of driving life. That's 930,000 to 1.1 million miles. More than five times the average vehicle lifespan in North America. For most buyers, this means never having to worry about battery replacement. Ever. Meanwhile, typical EV packs today start losing capacity after 1,500 to 2,500 cycles, often requiring costly midlife replacements that can run $15,000 or more. And because solid-state chemistry operates at much lower internal resistance, thermal output is drastically reduced. Tesla has been able to eliminate active liquid cooling systems entirely. That doesn't just lower production costs. It reduces total vehicle weight and improves structural simplicity. Fewer parts, fewer failure points, lower maintenance costs. Now, let's get to the performance numbers that are going to make every other automaker panic. The 2026 Tesla Model 2, equipped with this 25 kilowatt hour solid state pack, is projected to deliver over 500 kilometers of real world driving range on a single charge. Let me repeat that. A $16,000 car with 500 kilometers of range. That's not EPA fantasy range. That's real world, put your foot down, run the air conditioning range. But here's where it gets really insane. Thanks to the high energy density and low internal resistance of these solid state cells, the Model 2 can recharge from 10% to 80% in just 12 minutes. 12 minutes. That's faster than most people can grab a coffee and use the restroom at a highway stop. This charging speed doesn't just compete with gasoline refueling. In many cases, it's actually more convenient when you factor in cost and the fact that you're not standing next to your car inhaling fumes while you pump. Think about what this means for total cost of ownership. With a battery designed to last over 15 years of daily driving, you eliminate the single biggest long-term cost of EV ownership. Add in the lighter weight that improves efficiency and handling, and you're looking at a car that costs less to buy, less to operate, and less to maintain than anything currently on the market. Tesla isn't wasting any time bringing this to market. In July 2020, on twenty twenty-five, they quietly launched the pilot production line at Giga, Texas. This isn't a research project. This is the beginning of what could be the most aggressive battery ramp-up in the company's history. The goal is crystal clear. Produce the first 200,000 battery packs for the launch edition of the 2026 Model 2, which is slated for release in Q3 2026. That's less than a year away. Looking beyond the initial run, Giga Mexico is set to take over mass production starting in 2027. The facility is being designed specifically as the primary hub for solid-state pack production, allowing Tesla to meet global demand while keeping costs low and supply chains tight. Tesla is playing this strategically. Instead of flooding the market immediately, they're starting with a limited release to validate demand. But internally, sources say they're already preparing for massive scale-up because at this price point and performance level, demand isn't going to be a question. It's going to be a tsunami. The implications of this breakthrough go far beyond Tesla. We're looking at the moment when electric vehicles become practical for the masses, not just early adopters or luxury buyers. A sub $16,000 car with 500 plus kilometer range makes EVs accessible to millions of new buyers who were priced out of the electric revolution. 12-minute charging times eliminate range anxiety and make long-distance travel not just possible, but convenient. With batteries designed to last over 15 years, the hidden costs that scared away many potential EV buyers simply disappear. And because these cars are efficient enough to work with limited charging infrastructure, they become viable in markets around the world where the charging network is still developing.
Perhaps most importantly, this technology makes Tesla no longer dependent on the limits of their supercharger network. The Model 2 can thrive anywhere because it charges so fast and goes so far on each charge. This is the moment the industry changes forever. Tesla's solid-state battery isn't just a technological milestone. It's a catalyst that's going to force every other automaker to scramble to catch up or risk being left behind. For the first time, solid-state batteries aren't a promise for the future. They're a practical, affordable and superior alternative to everything else on the market today. Mass product. On is happening now. Global scalability is planned and the first cars roll out in less than a year. The question isn't whether solid state will change the industry. It's how fast that change is going to happen. And based on what Tesla has achieved, that change is going to be faster than anyone expected. The 2026 Model 2 could be the car that brings electric vehicles into the mainstream and reshapes the automotive landscape for decades to come. Whether you're an EV enthusiast, a skeptic, or just someone looking for a better, more affordable car, the solid state revolution is here, and it's just getting started. What do you think? Will this battery make you consider switching to the Model 2? Is solid state the future, or just another phase in the evolution of electric vehicles? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Tesla Torch for more insights into the innovations that are reshaping our world.